Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, we're going to look in on the big boy today, and I've got something sort of new that I'm doing. Alright, so taking the lids off, look at that, you can see all the blue worms right there on top. See how shiny they are? Blue. I watched uh, some of the, was it Northeast Worms? North something. Uh, channel and he's got some blue worms that he's growing up and they are huge. They're like the size of normal red wigglers. Got me thinking maybe you can grow them. Okay so or maybe there's different kinds of red worms I don't know. So we're gonna take a look here and see what we've currently got going on and um, I just may do another ginormous feeding. I have some sheer waste, uh, not the proper one from the application, but uh, people I know have started giving me buckets of food. And uh, so we're going to do that. So in the event that um, somebody who I'm, I'm going to call Cece, um, she gave me a bucket of clean out the refrigerator, so it's going to be refrigerator surprise for the big boy here. So let me kind of look around and see what I've got as far as moisture and food. I am seeing some springtails in here. It's not obnoxious like in the Red Wiggler and the European Nightcrawler only bin. Eh, but I'm going to say that it's uh, it's kind of obnoxious. It's still, oops, wiggle wiggle. Wiggly worm. Okay, so I'm going to just try and flip this up a little bit, make sure we're keeping air in it. It's getting to that time of the year where I do worry about the moisture getting to the point where things are anaerobic. So, so far so good. And keep flipping here. Kind of half looking for food and, and stuff as we go. Uh, oh, well, let's see. We might be getting somewhere here. I see part of the t shirt. Still got onions, but they're uh, at least they're getting into the onions now. It must have disturbed quite a pocket of them. Trying to get under it so we can see a worm ball if there is one to see. Shirts sure making further progress. The onions are making further progress. Not seeing a, a big old worm ball. It does look like we might get another avocado tree though. Alright, you know what, that's weed whacker. Okay, so once upon a time I did a video about this and I said we'll talk about this in a minute. And then it didn't. So this is actually a whip from my leaf shredder. And so basically the leaf shredder is a weed whacker inside of a barrel apparatus and uh, comes with a big funnel and these are the things that cut the, the leaves into shredded tiny little bits. I don't know, I got it at uh, Lowe's or something for 80 bucks. Works pretty good when the leaves are dry. If the leaves are wet, no bueno. Um, that does not need to be in there. That is a plastic weed whacker string. So, out he goes. Looks like a wad of paper here. Got our shirt that's, that's doing lovely. Look at that. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. So, I'm going to keep scrolling down here a little bit. Um, I'm trying to think. I know that I... I put some bedding down. Okay, I think that's a root, not a worm. 
So that's another avocado tree. I uh, screened some castings and put the overs in here and gave them some new paper bedding. So I think that's what I'm running into right now. Yeah, little little clumpy paper. Kind of moving everything down. Oop, wait a minute. I might. Oh, okay. We are going to have a worm ball. Sweet. So yeah, that's bread. There you go. Bread and bananas. Might be a label of something. I don't know what that was. Um, so yeah, that's nice. That's a nice little worm ball there. Looks like I also have uh, avocado. Yeah, it looks like the worm ball continues on underneath the sticks. So that's a good size worm ball. Not unhappy about that. Kind of turning everything up over here. Yeah, it's getting a little bit wet underneath there. As you can tell by what is sticking to my fingers. Alright, so it looks like we've got a little bit of avocado left. Some onions, our worm ball here. So I think I think the, these guys. So that's a good size worm ball. I don't know if you can see the shininess on this blue worm near my thumb here, but to me, it, it almost looks fluorescent blue, like purple, not blue, but purple. I'm gonna let them sit there for a bit. This guy right here. But as you, if you can see with him going by, he's got a flat clitellum. You can see the difference in color, the difference in color. Um, but that is a classic blue worm there. He's very zippy, very skinny. I mean, if he was a fat worm, look how big he'd be. He's like, what the heck? That's not cool. Put me down. All right. Well, I'm gonna put them down at that end, and put all these old food scraps down at this end, because we're gonna do a new feeding. Figure, put all the old feeding down there. I still got all this wormies. Hi guys. All living in a nice little community with the Europeans and the red wigglers. You can see their little yellow tails and the blue worms. Good babies. Okay, we're going to cover you guys up down there. And then we are going to get to my worm food donation here. Find a good deepish spot for it. How deep am I in there? That's pretty good. All right. So let's see what I've got for food. All right. Put that down here. And we'll see what we've got. Looks wet. So it looks like we've got some lettuce. Some pasta, um, more lettuce of some sort, huh, well, I've never tried this before. Let's see what they do with cheese. So this is going to turn into something of an experiment as well. We'll put that, 
put that down, uh, spread it out a little bit. Lettuce, cheese, lettuce. Okay, worm taco. Let's see. Oh, got some breadsticks. Breadstick. Breadstick. Another onion. Potato. That ought to do it. That ought to keep them for a while. So that is a, a really, probably a bigger feeding than I've given them in a very long time. I don't know if I would call it the biggest feeding ever, uh, but it's certainly the biggest the big boy, or the 55-gallon uh, bin has seen for quite some time. But now that it's summertime, it's time for them to get moving. So we'll see how long it takes them to eat all of that. And then we've got a little bit of a test with shredded cheese. Uh, put your predictions down below what you think is going to happen with that cheese. Um, like I said, I've never done it before, so I have nothing, nothing to base my opinion on. So put your comments below what you think. Have you done it before? Does that seem like a bad idea? Uh, there's probably 10 pounds of worms in here. They, I figure they can handle just about anything. Probably more than 10, really. But uh, So let's cover that up. And... Make sure that it's well covered up so any random critters in the vicinity will not be involved in it. Put that over the top and then put my usual layers on top to get everything fly-proofed, if you will. Alright guys, well if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.